a bill that would kick off some of the state's feral cats kill off when some of the state's feral cats populations dies at the state capitol. Cat TV 4's Eddie Dowd has why supporters say the bill was misrepresented. Now they plan to continue the fight. It's something many people we talk to say is hard to ignore. I think there is a big problem because there's feral cats everywhere. But many of those same people also said they don't believe reducing the population using lethal methods is a solution. We don't believe in killing animals. They're people too. It's kind of cruel and they could probably think of like a less, a more humane way to solve the problem. The bill would have state agencies eliminate feral cat colonies on Kauai, Maui and Hawaii Island and cut Oahu's feral cats by 50% by the end of 2025. Supporters claim the state's native Hawaiian bird population, including some endangered species like the nene, are being killed by feral cats and immediate action needs to be taken in order to prevent their extinction. But lawmakers backing the bill say they think that message got lost. David, why do you think this bill wasn't successful in this legislative session? Well, I think the bill was framed by those opponents as a cat killing bill and it demonized those supporters of the bill as being somehow inhumane. It's inhumane of us to let our bird species, our native Hawaiian bird species, go extinct. The experts are telling me that these birds are facing an existential threat. They could become extinct in our lifetime. And while the bill is dead, Representative David Tarnas says there is still a possibility a resolution could pass. A resolution wouldn't change any laws, but could send a message to state agencies to look at more ways to protect the native Hawaiian birds. Eddie Dowd, KITV4, Island News.